Well, congratulations on this new film. And um, it's such an honor for, for, for us that you're coming to Asia Society again. Um, she was actually here in 2008. 2008? Yes. And um, she walked into the building and she remembered us, so it's uh, really nice. And um, welcome to the New York Asian Film Festival. And uh, I am just going to begin the conversation with a few questions. And um, I want to ask you how you got involved in making this film and whether you were familiar with shamanism before making this. 이제 어떻게 더 이 관심을 갖게 되셨으며 그리고 이 영화를 찍기 전에 이제 이런 무당이나 만신에 관련된 부분들을 잘 알고 계셨는지. 네, 그 캐스팅에 관한 비하인드 스토리를 말씀드려야 될것 같은데요. She's going to start with the behind story of how she was casted for Manchin. 네. 아, 이 작품의 감독님이 박찬경 감독님이신데 박찬욱 올드보이의 박찬욱 감독님의 동생분이세요. So the director for this film is actually a brother of a director Park Chan-wook who directed Oldboy and you guys may already know. 네, 근데 그두 분이 같이 어, 그 파란 만장이라는 짧은 단편 영화를 만드신 적이 있는데요. 베를린에서 수상도 한 작품이고요. So uh, both of the directors they uh, actually filmed a short film that was uh, premiered in that was screened in Berlin called um, um, night, night, night Fishing. Night Fishing. Night Fishing. 근데 원래 거, 그 작품에 캐스팅이 돼 있어서 같이 하려고 했었고 그 작품에서도 무당이 나와서 제가 무당 역할이 여자 그 당시 한한 달간 곳을 배웠었거든요. So she was actually casted for that film and that film also dealt with uh, Manchin and she was supposed to play that role. So for about a month she practiced um, you know, the role of Manchin for that film. 아, 그런데 그 아, 나이트 피싱 촬영 첫날 어, 제가 알게 됐어요. 아기를 가졌다는 걸 아침에. So on the first day of the shooting, she found out that she was pregnant. <웃음> 그래서 그때 제가 몸이 썩 좋지 않은 상태여서 의사가 절대 안정을 취하고 절대 촬영하지 말라고 그래서 그 나이트 피싱을 못 하게 됐었어요. So her doctor told her that she cannot participate in the film and she needs to take a rest. So she actually had to give up her role for that film. 네, 그리고 나서 아기를 낳고 다시 복귀를 했을 때 박찬경 감독님한테 전화가 왔어요. 그 무당에 관한 다큐멘터리를 만들고 있는데 좀 도와줬으면 좋겠다. So after she had the baby and she fully rested, uh, the director called her again and said, um, I'm doing a documentary on Manchin, so could you please um, help me out? So. 네, 거절할 수가 없었어요. <웃음> so she just couldn't say no. <웃음> 네, 그래서 같이 하게 됐는데 아, 그, 음, 그 이전부터 이 무당에 대해서 아, 이런 이 직업을 가진 사람들에 대해서 특별히 이렇게 제, 저는 거부감이 있거나 그러진 않았거든요. Uh, so she never had any um, bad feelings about, you know, mansions or any, you know, the culture about it before, so. 그리고 제가 워낙에 한국의 전통음악, 어, 판소리라든지 뭐 그런 전통 장구, 북 이런 전통음악에 대해서 친숙하게 생각하고 좋아했기 때문에 음, 뭐 재밌겠다, 네, 그렇게 생각했어요. She was uh, always very, um, I guess, she likes uh, Korean traditional music, uh, like Pansori, uh, I don't know if you guys know, but uh, so because she likes these traditional music and um, activities, she really didn't, you know, feel the reason why she shouldn't participate in Manchin. And um, how was it like to portray someone who is uh, alive and also she participated in the film herself? What sort of interaction you had with Kim uh, Kyung Hwa? Uh, so, uh, 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 interaction을 하면서 영화를 찍는다는 게 어떠셨는지 
어, 촬영 전에는 그렇게 많은 교류가 있지 않았어요. Uh, she didn't really have so much interaction with uh, Kim Guma before the shooting. 지금 Kim Guma 만신은 80대 중반이시고 매우 연로하시고 제가 연기해야 되는 Kim Guma는 지금의 Kim Guma가 아니고 40대의 Kim Guma였거든요. So uh, Kim Guma 만신 is uh, in her mid 80s right now. So um, health wise, she's not you know perfect and the Kim Guma that she had to reenact was. Kim Guma in her 40s, not the Kim Guma, you know, not present day. 그래서 그분의 그 예전 그 구슬했던 비디오 클립 많이 보고 그리고 그분의 자서전을 보고 많이 참고를 했고요. So she uh, read Kim Guma's uh, biography. She watched a lot of video clips of um, of her rituals in the past, which um, you know she had to study those instead of actually interacting with Kim Guma. 근데 촬영 전에 딱한번 그분을 뵌 적이 있는데. 아, 그런 생각을 들었어요. 아, 내가 아, 무당 역할을 하는데 아, 그분을 직접 뵈니까 그런 생각이 들더라고요. 굉장히 자부심을 가지고 이 역할을 해야겠구나. So she met Kim Guma Manshin once before the shooting. She said and she said that when she met her, um, she had this feeling that she had to stay prideful while she was reenacting Kim Guma's life. Shaman herself went through a lot of turmoil in life, and but the film manages to avoid sentimentalism, which is actually quite remarkable. And I'm wondering how the director explained the emotional dimension of the film, like how the actresses should um, um, convey the emotion behind. So, uh, 김금아 만신이 되게 힘든 일을 많이 겪고 살았던 걸 보여줬는데 그런 되게 멜로 드라마틱한 그런 면을 되게 피하셨어요 디렉터 분이 그랬는데 이제 그럼에도 불구하고 이제 그 감독님께서 어떻게 그 연기자들에게 이런 김금아 만신의 이런 느낌이나 이런 라인들 어떻게 표현할 수 있게끔 도와주셨는지 아그 감독님이 그분의 자서전을 저한테 보여주셨어요. 김금아 만신이 스스로 아, 말씀하신 것을 그 고수를 받아, 받아서 이렇게 만든 어, 자서전이 있어요. 비, 음, 근데 그 자서전에 그분의 인생이 다 담겨 있었는데 저는 그 자서전을 보고 어, 정말 그분의 그 삶의 고통이 오롯이 다 느껴지는 듯 했었거든요. So the director gave Miss Moon the biography that Kim, uh, Kim Guma wrote herself, and she said as she read the book, she can literally feel all the pain that Kim Guma went through, you know, in her life. Well, 아시다시피 그 굉장히 저예산 독립 다큐멘터리예요. 그래서 어, 스케줄도 굉장히 음, 짧은 시간이었고. 어, 아, 촬영장에서는 그렇게 여유 있지 않았어요. 서로 얘기 감독님을 얘기할 시간도 별로 없었고. So as you guys can all see that it was a very low budget documentary film. So the schedule was very tight as well. So she didn't really have the freedom to converse and communicate with the directors too much. 촬영 전에 저는 그 자서전을 보면서 아, 그분의 아, 그 감정, 그분의 어, 느낌 이런 것들을 음, 계속 많이 담으려고 했던 것 같아요. So it was mainly through her biography that she read before the shooting that she tried to um, understand uh, Kim Guma's feeling and emotions. 근데 또 한편으로는 그 무당으로서의 삶이 굉장히 이제 고통스러운 면이 많은데 그것이 배우로서의 삶을 살면서 갖고 있는 고통과 많이 닮았다는 생각이 들더라고요. And um, as a life of Manshin, there is a lot of hardships that they they have to go through and a lot of pains that they feel. And she thought that um, that life was actually very similar to the life of an actress. All the hardships that an actress has to go through. 음, 그래서 좀 그분의 감정에 다가가기가 어, 조금. 쉬웠던 것 같아요. 많이 어렵지 않았어요. 동질감을 많이 느끼고 있어서. 
그러면에서. So it was actually a little easier for her to relate to Kim g u m a s life. You know, the hardships that they went through were, in a way, very similar. Um, this film is formally very interesting. It is part documentary, part biopic. It has animation, surrealism, and the real-life subject um, is on the set with the actors. This is the vision of director. And I'm wondering if you can talk about uh, working with Park Chang Kyung. He is uh, not just a filmmaker; he is also a visual artist whose work is seen in museums and galleries. How is it? Well, how he, is he different from the other directors you have worked with? 감독님이 이, 이, 일단 이 영화 같은 경우에는 다큐멘터리도 여러 있으면서 가지가 예, 여러 가지가 섞여 있고 <웃음> 그리고 꼭 이제 영화 감독뿐만이 아니라 이런 미디어 아티스트셔서 이제 다른 필름 메이킹만 하시는 분과 아, 다른 점 그냥 신인 감독님 같았어요. <웃음> He just felt like a newbie director. <웃음> 네. 아, 아. 그 촬영을 하면서는 이 다큐멘터리 전체적으로 어떤 게 구성이 될지 자세히 말씀해 주시지 않으셨어요. 그냥 이 아, 드라마 부분만 말씀해 주셨거든요. So he didn't really tell Miss Moon how this movie was going to be directed in uh, directed in detail. He just sort of mentioned, you know, the dramatic part that Miss Moon would be participating in. 네, 그리고 아 뭐, 드라마 부분을 연출할 때는 매우 신인 감독님 같았으나, 아, 네, 완성된 영화를 보고, 어머, 미리 말을 하지, 아티스트라고, 제가. <웃음> 네, 그런 반응을 한 적이 있죠. So when he was directing the dramatic part that Ms. Moon was in, she felt that he was a, a very new director. But um, after she saw the finished, finalized film, She told director, um, director Park, oh, "Why didn't you tell me you were an artist?" So. <laughs> And um, speaking of directors, you you have worked with some of the most admired directors, like Lee Chang Dong, um, Im San Su, Hon San Su. And you have crafted a really interesting acting career, playing very interesting roles. And recently, you made uh, a comedy, uh, The Spy. <laughs> And uh, I'm wondering, um, how do you see yourself expanding your acting portfolio? What are your hopes and dreams? 이제 어, 많은 사랑을 받고 있는 감독님들과 함께 일을 하셨고 되게 다양한 롤들을 많이 하셨는데 이제 계속해서 나아가면서는 어떤 배우가 되고 싶으신지 어떤 배우를 꿈꾸고 계시는지. Uh... 어떤 롤이라고 말씀하신 것이 맞죠? 네, 배우. 네, 배우. 그 배우로서 갖는 꿈은 한 가지 그냥 좋은 작품을 하는 것 하나인 것 같아요. So her dream as an actress, you know, if she had one dream, it would just be being a good actress. 그 롤은 롤이나 캐릭터는 그냥 아 그, 그렇게 중요하지 않아요. A role or a character is not the important. 아, 오늘 내가 검은 옷을 입을까? 아, 오늘 뭐 트레이닝 보고 입을까? 오늘 뭐 아니면 뭐 원피스를 입을 아, 바지를 패치를 입을까? 이렇게 날마다 그냥 입는 옷이 다를 수 있잖아요. 상황에 따라. 그런 것처럼 캐릭터는 달라지고 롤은 달라진다고 생각해요. 그렇지만 더 중요한 거는 내가 어떤 사람이냐. 내가 더 좋은 사람이 되는 것이 내가 어떤 옷을 입느냐보다 훨씬 중요하죠. 그런 것처럼 아, 배우로서도 아, 어떤 롤, 어떤 캐릭터를 하는가는 썩 중요하지 않고 어떤 작품을 하느냐, 그 작품이 어떤 작품이냐, 더 좋은 작품을 하는 것 그것이 가장 큰 목표인 것 같아요. Mm. So, 희망이죠. Uh, so a role or a character is very similar to um, you know, whether I'm wearing pants today or if I'm wearing a black shirt today or you know, it's, it's not really important what you're wearing that day, so she's Um, so her hopes and dreams is more of um, participating in a good, good film, in a, in a film that is being loved. And it's not so much about what character she's going to play. It's more so about what types of you know, great films she can participate in.
Let's take some questions from the audience. Um, we have mics on the two sides that uh, we can, you can use. Um, someone in the middle? Sam, can you, right here. Hi. Yeah, I was very uh, interested to see in about the middle of the movie, they uh, said Namo Amitabha, and that's um, Amida or Amitabha Buddha. So there looks like there is Mahayana Buddhism in this role of the shaman, which is not surprising because that's the same as Tibetan Buddhism and so on. Was there any um, background research done about that in the film that you were aware of? Uh, so, um, you know, as you know, you guys know, like if really, even if it's the same religion, if it's in different parts of the world, it sort of adapts to that culture, and um, so she thinks that uh, this Manchin culture, as it um, grew and you know, like Buddhism came into Korea, uh, she's sure that it was affected by it, but um, 우선 다른 리서치나 이런 거는 뭐 아, 그, 하신 거는 뭐, 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 무엇에 대해서? 불교, 이런, 불교, 예, 불교랑 뭐 만신 이런 컬처랑 같이 이렇게 어, 아니, 지금 음, 한국에서는 아, 불교와 이 무속신앙은 아, 언뜻 보기에는 뭐 불상을 가, 가져다 놓은 것도 있지만 아, 달라요. 어, 엄연히 다르게 되어 있고 아, 어, 뭐 비, 음, 뭐라고 해야 되나요? 아, 불교의 영향을 많이 받은 아, 흔적은 있지만 엄연히 어, 다른 신앙이죠. So there wasn't actually like particular research, background research done, but um, you know, Miss Moon is saying that uh, Buddhism and Manchin culture may seem very similar. However, there are two completely different things, and um, you know, she's sure that Manchin culture was affected a little bit by Buddhism culture, but you know, she just wants to say that there are two very different things. Uh, 을 받은 것 같고 심지어 크리스 기독교도 크리스천 기독교도 한국에 들어와서 이 무속 신앙의 영향을 받은 것 같고 무속 신앙이 한국의 토속 신앙이었고 다른 종교들은 이후에 들어왔지만 서로 많은 영향을 주고 받았다고 할수 있죠. And she also thinks that you know Buddhism was also affected by this Manchin culture as well as Christianity as well. But Manchin culture is actually from the root of Korean culture. So you know, but all these different religions, you know, coming into one area, you know, they, there is no doubt that they're all going to be affected by each other. Questions? Over, over there. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed the film, and I just, you know, I thought it was very eclectic and, you know, just. It was very fresh. It was a very modern and fresh way of looking at um, Manshin or Mudang. And um, I don't know, I always felt like it was hard to understand because it was just, you know, it was, but this film really made it more accessible to understand. And I, don't know, I was just wondering if you got the sense that because she was saying, um, you know, back in, in the day, there wasn't really much 
celebration going on that, you know, in a way, doing one of these good is uh, like uh, doing a celebration, you know? And um, did you get the sense that maybe, the, you know, it was kind of a early, like, entertainment, like a drama therapy kind of, <laughs> you know? I mean, it may be religion, but, I, you know, I found it to be, she was very entertaining, and I don't know, it's, you know, usually when you think of religion, it's so, you know, it's very strict and, and rigid and can be very boring, actually, and, you know, but, uh, I don't know, this just seemed like very lively. It's almost like, a, in a way, a celebration of life. Yeah. Celebration으로 which is the ritual, the performance that mansions do, um, it actually was sort of like a celebration or a party that a village would actually have. It was a generation where there was no entertainment like movies or clubbing where people can just go out and enjoy themselves. So good was actually you know, a part of celebration and you know, just entertainment for people as well as those ritualistic spiritual experience as well. So you know, if you actually go to where they um, have these rituals, um, there's food, there's music, it's a place where everyone can get together and sort of communicate and hang out with with each other, so, and not only that, um, you know, good is performed to sort of, if there is somebody who is hurt and feeling pain, it's a place for them to sort of, um, you know, relax and, and for, you know, like caress their pain. It was a place for them to get their pain caressed, so it was a mixture of everything. Another question? Yes. Uh, do you have the sense that is it still on? Yeah. Oh, do you have the sense that this film will change in any way the way that uh, Mudang culture is viewed in Korea or maybe even in Korean American, uh, the Korean American community? And also, uh, how did uh, friends and family of yours react to uh, finding out that you were playing this role? Mm. 이런 문화에 대해서 사람들의 이제 생각이 조금 바뀔 건지 어, 그거에 대해서 어떻게 생각하시고 그리고 이제 친구들이나 가족분들께서 이제 무당 역할을 한다는 말을 들으셨을 때 어떻게 반응을 하셨는지 아 제가 구슬 배우고 무당 역할을 한다고 하니까 주위에서는 무섭지 않아? 뭐아 진짜 어, 신이 내리면 어떻게? 겁나지 않아? 뭐 이런 반응이 when she told her friends and family that she was actually learning how to do all these rituals and she's playing the role of Munchen, you know, they asked her, like, aren't you scared? What if you really, you know, you know, what if you really become a Munchen? Like, what are you going to do then? So she said as an actress, when she's really, you know, into the character, it almost feels like someone, you know, came inside her of her and left, so which is very similar to what Munchins do. So she's like, why is that scary? Is it scary? Uh, 
그러니까 드러내지 않고 언더 아. <웃음> So she said even nowadays like younger generations they go to these mansions to for fortune telling to you know ask about their future uh, in, even if it may be like on the down low because they don't want to tell anyone that they're visiting mansion. <laughs> 아, 그런 사람, 저런 일을 하는 사람들이 아직도 한국에 굉장히 많고요. 저런 무속 인구가 30만이 된다고 하니까요, 한국에. 그런데 저는 관객들이 이 영화를 보고 단순히 무당이 그냥 미래를 점쳐주는 포춘텔러만이 아니라 아, 이런 역사를 가지고 있었고 또 이런 아, 기회를 예, 음, 기회? 아, 예. 예술적인 어, 재능 탈런트가 필요한 이런 아, 일이었고 또 한국의 전통 문화였다는 거를 그 기, 기원을 아, 알았으면 어, 좋겠고 또 어, 많은 관객분들도 음, 그것에 대해서 조금 긍정적으로 이해하셨으면 하는 마음이죠. There are still many mansions and people who are um, who help out with mansions work in Korea it's about 300,000 people in Korea that are still involved with mansion or or you know their mansions themselves and um, she just Ms. Moon wants everyone to audiences to view the films and sort of understand that there is history behind mansion culture it's not just fortune telling it's not just voodoo it's more, um, you know, the root of Korean culture and it's like folk, uh, folklore. And, you know, she doesn't want people to misunderstand this culture because it's actually very traditional and, you know, it comes from the root of Korean history. Okay, that's one. I'm intrigued. I'm, in, I'm intrigued by the, um, the questions that have come out that, um, that continue to view um, Munchen activity or shamanism as something superstitious and low and we might be afraid of it or it's, it's not quite respectable or so on. In fact, across Asia um, these days, um, shamanism is experiencing a great revival from Southeast Asia through South China, uh, Mongolia, um, even parts of Siberia. So I'm wondering whether Korea is different from those other places in that there's still a larger stigma um, and what the role it, that the film shows of Christianity is in in keeping it that way. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you repeat the last part about the Christianity? <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, Koreans are, are well known for for um, for being very involved with evangelical Christianity, right, right. and the film itself portrayed mm -hmm. several antagonistic um, uh, scenes in which that was the case. And so I'm wondering if the, the uh, almost hegemonic nature of Christianity in Korea now, as opposed to, say, a traditional Buddhism, um, is, is one of the reasons that today mm -hmm. still that there is stigma. Mm -hmm. 이제 어, 이런 아직까지도 이런 무당이나 만신 이런 컬처를 보면서 미신이라고 생각하거나 되게 안 좋은 바, 이제 눈으로 바라보는 그런 게 이제 그런 거에 되게 놀라셨다고 말씀을 하시고요. 이런 몽골이나 이런 사우스 이스트 에이시아 쪽에서는 계속해서 이런 컬처가 다시 살아나고 있는 걸로 알고 있는데 이제 한국 같은 경우에는 이런 크리스찬이리를 이제 믿으시는 분들이 많이 있고 영화에서도 그런 부분이 나왔듯이 이런 그런 크리스찬이리 같은 종교 문제 때문에 아직까지도 이런 무당이나 굿을 하는 걸안 좋게 보고 있는지 한국에서 아, 음, 그냥 이 아직도 안 좋게 보고 있는 건 사실인 것 같아요 굉장히 이중적인 감정을 갖고 있는 것 같아요 굉장히 
아, 없인 여겨 보고 아래로 보고 아, 그런 것은 아, 인텔리 하지 못한 것이라고 생각하는 마음이 있는 한편 또 한편으로는 아, 급하면 찾게 되는 네. 네. 뭐 기대게 되는 이두 가지 마음이 한국 사람들한테 늘 공존하고 있는 것 같아 지금은. Uh, she thinks it's actually very uh, bipartial. It you know separates into two groups. Um, it's very true that there's that group that will always sort of look down upon this culture and look at it as unintelligent and it's just you know bad. And also there are, are people who you know who will look for it when it's when they're needed, you know, when they're, when they're, um, like, like when there's nothing else left, they'll, they'll turn to, you know, Manchin culture, when, you know, there's nothing else that can be helped. Ah, uh, 아직 이 문화를 이렇게, 어, 양지로, 이렇게, 이렇게 더 되살리지 못하는 것은 꼭 크리스찬, 기독교의 문제만은 아닌 것 같아요. 물론 한국의 기독교가 매우 파워풀하긴 하지만 그 문제만은 아닌 것 같고 한국의 이제 근대 근대화 과정에서 음 굉장히 아 급하고 잘못된 과정들이 있었고 우리의 역사나 우리 자신의 것을 부정하는 것이 오히려 어음 발전하는 것인 것처럼 아 잘못 생각이 되어졌던 그 근대화 과정에 우리의 문제도 같이 섞여 있는 것 같아요. She doesn't think that it's necessarily religion or Christianity that is stopping the revival of Manchin culture. She thinks it's more, um, you know, globalization and developing quickly and and actually believing that uh, to become a developed country, you have to sort of throw away your um, cultural history. That's, that's, you know, those kind of thoughts that, that's the reason why our, you know, heritage is sort of dying and that's the reason why, you know, cultures like this cannot revive. It's how people think more so than religious ways, you know, religious yeah, regions. 기독교의 문제도 있고, 그 문제도 있고, 여러, 섞여 있는 것 같아요. I mean, she just thinks it's just a mixture of everything. Maybe a little bit of religion, a little bit of globalization, a little bit of, you know, people having the wrong thoughts in their head about what's the correct way to develop, you know, a country. Well, <laughs> thank you so much. And I just want to ask you if uh, there's anything you want to say to the New York audience before your departure. 떠나기 전에 이제 뉴욕 어딘 관객들에게 하시고 싶은 마지막 말씀 있으시면 아, 아, 굉장히 한 지역의 아, 그 지역만의 문화이기도 하고 아, 한국이라는 작은 나라의 아, 이야기지만 아, 가장 아, 지역적인 이야기 안에서 아, 가장 음, 글로벌한 네, 이야기가 또 나올 수 있다는 생각이 들거든요. 그래서 아, 이 작품으로 여러분들을 만나게 돼서 너무 아, 좋았고요. 아, 우선. So, uh, so this, you know, this film may be about a, a story of a very small local country, you know, but she thinks that a very global story can be born from such a local history, from a very small country. And she's uh, very glad that she can meet you guys through this very local and independent movie. <laughs> uh, 영화에서 보셔서 알겠지만 한국의 무속신앙에서는 uh, 좋은 신이든 나쁜 신이든 모두를 품, 품고 있거든요. 나쁜 신이라고 해서 가라 하고 내쫓지 않아요. 나쁜 신이든 좋은 신이든 아, 다잘 먹여서 잘 음식 대접하고 잘 놀다 가세요. 특히 나쁜 신들은 마음을 나쁘게 쓰는 신들마저는 그 신들의 마음까지 달래주면서 풀어주고 아, 잘 대접해서 어, 보내는 문화거든요. 그런 문화처럼 이 영화를 잘 보셨든 못 보셨든 간에 <웃음> 좋아하시든 안 좋아하시든 간에 
네, 모두들 좋은 기운 받으시고 복 받으시는 마음으로 돌아가셨으면 좋겠습니다. So um, as you can see in the movie in this Manchin culture, you know whether it's a bad god or a good god, you know you, you sort of have to uh, they accept them all, and you know in in, the, in these rituals where they're offering them food and you know like music and just good time, um, you know just because they're they may be a bad god with bad feeling, you don't tell them to go away and only the good god come. It's more like if they're if they're gods with you know bad feelings. You sort of have to, um, you just be better to them, so that their bad feeling will go away. And so, just like that, you know, whether you guys enjoyed this movie or didn't enjoy this movie, or whether you liked it or not liked it, you know, she hopes that everyone can, um, you know, just be happy and and <laughs> and uh, and God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> have good luck in everything that you guys do. <laughs> We are happy. Thank you. Thank you.